So I just came back from a job interview, which is very interesting. It's a shoe store. Well, I knew it was a shoe store. Just didn't expect them for I just did not expect them to have two job offer. Job offer. It's uh, one's gonna be a store manager and the other one's gonna be a truck driver. Uh, truck driver would be yeah, nice. I would travel far and wide. Problem is I have to travel all the way up to Saint Leonard in Montreal, which is by transit about an hour and a half, which is much, which was much longer than before. So I'm not I'm not enthusiastic about that. I'd rather be I'd rather take the job as a store manager, which is local here in Brassard. Well, Bulgaria or Brassard, South Shore, whatever. As long as it's near me. It's hard. It's really hard finding a job. Even even worse when you live in a small area. Here it's there's plenty of business and enterprise and industry to provide jobs. The problem is getting employed. I know that some place in the state is some people live in very small communities and there isn't that much company around. So they have to travel far to find a job. Sometime an hour away by car. Sometime two hours away by car. And um, it doesn't mean that they're going to find jobs. Or it doesn't mean that they have a car to go around. They're probably on foot. So it's really... It's not as easy as it used to be. In my younger day, uh, I didn't have such a big catalog of skills compared to today. So it was harder. It was just as hard as to find a job. Many times over, I was very lucky. And uh, back in the day, you had to walk left and right to find a job. Nowadays, you just sit behind your computer and does and do job application, which is uh, much easier. Time saving. It's, uh, yeah, I don't burn my gas that way. So keep my finger crossed that uh, I'll get the job as a jo as a store manager which is it's it's a feel I'm capable of doing and uh, <laughs> I have to motivate people <laughs> more than I have to motivate myself <laughs> after three months I'm gonna be so bored <laughs> but uh, you know just as long as I can work indoor for the winter I'll be very happy and uh, if they offer me $16 an hour to stay in a store and uh, sell shoes and boots, it's fine with me because I can sell anything. I'm a, wow, Jesus Christ, seriously? <laughs> it's like, dude, chill out. Like, the guy's at the corner, has to do his stop, which he didn't do, and he just like runs the fucking stop. Like, that stupid car passing by. Look at this one, two, three. Like that car, Jesus Christ, just chill out. <laughs> Some people are so stupid. Uh, hi mom. That was short. I have the job opening for the installation system, but as much as it pays, it's, it's gonna be... I don't know how to say this. I wanna drive on the road. I want to do delivery, truck driver. But I don't want to work in the fucking snow for the winter. It's like, I just don't have that energy anymore. When I was younger, yeah, I was motivated to do these kinds of jobs. But nowadays, it's, I'm, I'm much less interested in these kinds of things. Give me a second. My jacket has a thousand and one pockets. Like a pocket for everything. That's that's me. I always buy these kind of these kinds of things. So that's pretty much resume my day. Go out for the job interview. And wait, wait for phone calls. I know that yesterday I had three people looking at my. Um, my profile and job application I submit and um, yeah basically I have to wait 
I have one more week that I can wait. After this, I have to get to work. So if it does, if it, nothing pans out, I'm gonna have to go back to the store or take that job. Yeah, it pays a good amount of money. For me, $600 is a good amount of money. And they're willing to pay me that every week. But uh, the problem when you're doing electrical work and these kinds of jobs is that compared to a, a set of light, LED lights, that it installs in cars and trucks, is that the light does only one purpose and you can't go wrong because it's only two wires. Their system is a little bit more complicated and sketchy. The guy really wanted me to get the job, but frankly, I don't have the strength. My back still ache here and there. And I think that this is gonna be an handicap eventually. So I'll keep my finger crossed so I get the job at the store manager. All right, I'll see you guys tonight or later. Have a good day.